This is PlanetMosh.com here at Download 2015. I'm joined by Silosis. How are we? Good, thanks. Good, yeah. good to hear. Good to hear. Um, so, this is your third Download show, am I correct in thinking? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And what's, what is it about the festival that you really, really like? Why, why do you like to come back here? Uh, it's one of the biggest, to be honest, and obviously being like a, not a hometown, home country festival. Uh, it's always like the best grounds for us, like wherever we wherever we play, downloads always one of the best. Do you find that you prefer to play like maybe festivals where you get maybe open air, bigger audiences, stuff like that? Or do you find you prefer to play like indoors where it's a lot more intimate indoors. or is it too kind of uh, different? Indoors is the best for us, like we're heavy band, we're quite fast as well. Like when, the, when it's like massive festival and the wind's blowing around and the sound is good, there's no atmosphere. We like we specifically asked for a tent slot, like late in the evening in a tent. And when we announced it, everyone's like, oh, you should be on the main stage. We're like, no. This way we get to play longer, we get some cool lights. Yeah. It'll be great. Because yeah. I think, didn't you open the main stage at Sonosphere a few years ago? Yeah, which was awesome. Like, that was, it was so much better than like, we had, could ever expect. It was like completely packed. First band on. And, like, you, I, I saw you that day. You were really, really good. Oh, I was really you. impressed. I, I, you were particularly as it's, you know, kind of like one of those early morning slots. I think it was on the Saturday, so people might have been a little yeah, bit yeah, yeah, from yeah. the night before. It was, yeah. But that was really cool. Um, Dormant Heart. It's a new record, I believe. Yes. Correct. Um, was it easy going back to using Scott Aiken as a producer? I believe he produced the last one as well. Didn't he? The one, the one before he missed one out. So uh, yeah, he's like yeah, because he's go back to him after missing one yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, just like part of the band in a way. Did you do anything differently this time around than you've done before? Um, differently in terms of when we worked with Scott, because I produced a lot of it. In terms of like we recorded the drums with him, I did yeah. everything else and mixed it with him. Yeah. Uh, so it was just, it's just easy. Like, I've got to a point now of production where I know enough about what I'm doing. I know what to look out for in terms of good takes and yeah. make sure it's tight enough. So there's no point in using other people and spending yeah. money and going to a studio when you can do it yourself. Yeah, no, that makes sense. How's Ali settling in? Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's a really good drummer. Getting used to touring with him. He's loud. <laughs> Aren't uh, those drummers though? When they're playing drums, Rob was the op- Rob was the opposite. Rob was really, really quiet. Ali is really, really loud. So if you like sleeping, if you value sleep, it's, you, you know, you're not, it's you're not great being around Ali when, <laughs> when you want to sleep. But no, yeah, he's certainly in really well. It's yeah. Great. Is there any? I mean, is he just? Taught, is, he a, is he a new member? Or yeah, is, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, he's been in since like officially since September, and uh, yeah, just yeah, really great drummer. He's, like one of the best in the UK. Very lucky. And he's uh, and I'm mean, guessing obviously he's fitted the sound. He's, he's come out there, and as he brought, and I'm assuming as well, he's brought his own stuff on board as well. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I, we haven't recorded anything with him yet, but for the next album, though, he'll definitely put his own stamp on the drumming. Well, have you got any idea on when the new next album might be? Because, I mean, what, what is the plan after after download? Uh, we've got a few more festivals uh, in Europe, and then uh, just try and tour again, like, November in the UK. We haven't done, like, an actual UK tour yet, so that'll be... In some form or another, we'll be touring. Cool. UK. That's really cool. Give me what sort of, What's your favourite song to play live? Have you got one? Um, I don't know. I'm not playing them all. No, uh, probably Imperial. Yeah. Good fun. Or uh, I like playing. Uh, Servitude, one of the new songs. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I imagine as well that the new songs are a lot fresher in your mind as well. So maybe not saying that the older songs aren't going to be important um, as well, but I guess you've got fresh songs you like to get them. They're harder because we haven't been playing them. Like our old stuff to play is so easy because it's like second nature. You just yeah, muscle memory. You have to think a bit more for the new stuff, but um, yeah, it's still yeah, it's fun. That's all. Fun. Last thing, pick a number between one and ten, and I'll give you your final question. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Name me a band that shouldn't have broken up. Well, I was going to say them, but they're back. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, Pantera. Yeah, yeah Pantera. Definitely. Well, they, they didn't like. Think there was no official breakup, but they, yeah, they sort of went on a unannounced hiatus, and then yeah. And then, then, then everything else happens. Yeah. So good. I've never gone see. Yeah, them, same. Right. What would What would your opinion on be if they did like a reunion? I'd be fine with it, yeah. Like I I never got to see him so like I'd love to see him. Yeah. Do you think that do you think that there'd be enough hype for them to if they did do that to headline here? Yeah. I, I, yeah, great yeah, like it might seem weird, but yeah, definitely. Because I mean I know a lot of people who have gone just reading around and they've gone they could probably do the second stage, but they couldn't do something as big as that. 
I don't yeah, I reckon they could do it. Like I reckon it's so many people would just be curious. Uh, to like, see what it's yeah, like. not even just like up for it. Like I'm I'm I'd be fine with it. I'm a huge Dimebag fan, he's my favourite guitarist, but um I I just wanna see them do those songs yeah. and just to be fun. And like it doesn't you know, maybe not do any albums or anything, but just do some shows. Just do some shows and let us all remember exactly why why we all love them in the first place. Yeah. Essentially. Darkness and that. Guys, thank you very much. Cool. It's been an absolute pleasure. Cheers.